Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Toho Mon Enhanced Edition Nuzlocke stuff. So, something I forgot to do. It's slightly important. Is we need to put someone something into the daycare. So let's find out what we're gonna put in the daycare. We could put Hina. Um, also, Chin is actually ready to evolve. Um, she evolves at like 24, 25 or something like that. Um, she actually missed a move. She, I believe she missed agility because I haven't evolved her yet. But I'm not that worried about it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and store her briefly and we will figure yeah, out who we're going to put in here. Anyone really super low level? Yes. Bar. Put you in there. Go. Thank you. So as promised, we're gonna go first to the um, power plant just to loot all the items. Um, also, one thing we're gonna go ahead and do right now. So we're gonna take dig, and we're gonna teach it to Chen. Uh, let's see. Mud shot can inflict damage and lower accuracy, and then there's fury swipes, and then there's snatch. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of snatch for now. Yep. Um, Shakiaki does learn mana burst around like level 52. Um, something else to note about Ellis: uh, Ellis does learn Thunderbolt um, on her own. She learns it around like 60 though, and she learns Thunder around 70. So it's a while. Anyway, that's all been taken care of, let's move on. Anything? In some of the versions of Pokemon, the power plant, some of these uh, items are actually Voltorbs or some junk. Which is a bit annoying. Side beam. Detect. Um, I believe Detect allows you to... Um, Enables the user to evade all attacks, and it may fail if used in succession. Okay, that's not what I was thinking of, but that works. It's kind of like Endure, but you don't actually take any damage. But it's essentially just a delaying tactic, which can have its uses, I guess. Uh, get Aya back out here. Ow. Die. Thank you. Elixir, always good. The character's uh, Shikiaki can fight on her own. Oh, Merlin. So we could have gotten a Merlin. A, well, a, well, actually we couldn't because we already had this character. But yeah, some of these are actually enemies. Um, go figure. Uh, ghost is vulnerable to Ghost and Beast. Ghost actually doesn't have very many vulnerabilities. Um, but the problem is, is Beast is really, really common. So, go figure. Uh, who can we send out? Uh, we'll just stick with Aya. Memento. My attack. Oh! Memento kills yourself, but heavily debuffs the target. Okay, that's really interesting. Not exactly good, but it's interesting. I mean, well, it's good in both cases, except in Nuzlocke's, which is pretty much all I play, so... Oh! Teleport. Thunder! This is the only time you can find Thunder. And to be honest, I might use it because level 70 is a long ways away. Ding! Shikiaki is not going to evolve for like level 30 plus, I believe, so don't expect much. Anyway, uh, Thunder. 120 damage, accuracy is 70 though. May leave foe paralyzed. Okay. That tends to be the trait for some of these super higher power abilities, they actually have lower accuracy. So actually I'm not going to worry about learning it, so cool. Glad that was cleared up. Quick Heart. This is an evolution stone. And let me guess, Merlin again. 
Encore? Nope. Soar. Oh my god, that nearly killed me. Please let me attack first. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I nearly lost Daya. Ugh, this game is not good for the heart. Oh, a Romilia, cool. Not expecting that. Uh, Mei Ling, it's all yours. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dark is actually resistant to Dream, rather than... Uh, it's the complete opposite of what you expect from uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, Dark is vulnerable to fighting. In this, it's, uh, Dark is resistant to Dream. Go figure. Anyway. Doesn't say anything about Faith, though. Alright. Done here. I don't have to come back. So, all that's been taken care of. Um, we can try catching a few things. Uh, there's really not much left to catch, unfortunately. Um, unfor there's not very much you can get from water. You, like, in fishing, you can only get, like, Nidori and Hina, as from what I can tell, unless it's just, like, a super duper rare. But in the water itself, you can only get a few things as well. So, more than likely, the only thing we can get out of two of these routes is possibly uh, Komachi, and that's an F, pretty big F in fact, so don't expect much from there. Um, as for that, we need to do some leveling up. Go. You on the other hand, let's go ahead and send out Hina. Swap in. Uh, I, uh. Cut. Oh wow, you live somehow. Level 6. Level 7. Level 8. Uh, get rid of Harden, I guess. There you go, three level ups. Let's see, Miasma is weak against Earth. Okay. Might be able to have some fun later. Night now, switch in you. And of course, I'm gonna get hit with poison, like always. Reduces 2 to 5 power points from the last mo move that foe used. That's actually kind of powerful. I'm not sure I'll ever use it, but I'll go ahead and swap it in because I'm never going to use Foresight. So yeah, all we need to do is get her to level to trigger the evolution. It can never evolve while in the um, daycare center. Alright. Oh, now you're going to try to pick up agility. Well, I'm not going to learn it because I don't need it. Yes. Anyway, so now we have Chen. Still has early bird. Stats are higher, but it's not much difference. Her defense is getting better, though. That's good. Alright, uh, as for Chin, let's take a look at her stats, or her entry. 
Still a beast type, that's fine. Jin serves a, as a Shikigami and becomes much stronger when her master is present. I'm pretty sure that's not true in this game. In any case, uh, nine more bo Bonica, and we actually get the XP share. So I guess you can say every time we lose more and more Bonica, we will gradually get closer to the XP share. Anyway, we are going to try out Chen. Well, it kind of worked. Much up. Dead. resistant to earth? Oh wow, they are. Good to know. God, that's close. Didn't you already learn roost? No, that was, uh, the other one. Wow, I lost her. I, I, Tokiko, that's her name. Wow, I forgot her name already. Um, uh, we don't need it. Really, for things like Roost and stuff, that's really if you're doing a run where you're trying to really not use items. Anyway. Flying move, always good. Is there another means of attacking, I guess? Uh, let's get rid of Mudshot. Mudshot's actually special type, so that's probably why it doesn't do very much damage when I use it. We'll take that. I mean, the, the reduced in accuracy is nice, but it's also not very reliant as an accurate weapon. Only has 90% chance as a base instead of 100. Oh wow, I nearly like, killed myself with my own drain punch. God, that's annoying. Metal Claw. Yay! A steel move. Alright, Metal Claw. Uh, may also you raise use the user's attack. Always useful. We're gonna go ahead and drop Fury Swipes, because we don't need Fury Swipes. And I'd rather have the chance to flinch from the height, so... It's been not surprised that she learned that. Uh, you can drop a wrap. Doesn't really matter too much. It'll be replaced with something else eventually.
more of this madness. Now supposedly I can win with Metal Claw. Ow. One, congratulations. That was really good. Uh, he at least fought, killed you, but uh, you know details. That's that's okay. Sorry if I'm a little mellow, I'm. It is pretty late, but I really want to get through this grinding stuff. So I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible with uh, minimum fuss. Things get a lot better once the um, once you don't have to swap as much. It's one you don't have to do, especially in this part, because every time you swap, they get a free attack, and that free attack will poison. Which is annoying. Roar! Beast move forces a foe to switch out with an ally, or if it's a wild Pokemon, they'll just flee. Not really useful in many situations. Because for one, you don't really have control of what they, what your opponent will switch into. It's usually just the next one on the list, and then they'll just swap back and forth. So it's not like you can cycle through them. So really, not worth the trouble. I, su I suppose it can work in some situations. Just if you know that their next one is really uh, something you can take advantage of and force them to swap back and forth. But for the most part, not so much. Slash. Beast move. Foe slashed with claws, etc. It has a high critical hit ratio. So it's pretty much a top tier beast move. Uh, of course, it only has 10 uses, which is not a big issue. And it doesn't cause flinching, but it has high crits. And really, for Chin, it's all about hitting fast and hitting hard. So I'm going to go ahead and drop Bite and take Slash. Zen Headbutt. Unfortunately, it's physical, and Shikieki is actually not very good with physical attacks, so I'm going to go ahead and not take this. He also, you know, has a chance of missing, which is always bad. Tailwind. A mystic powerful dance that boosts the user's attack and speed stat. Um, since speed, I don't really think much of speed stat uh, boosting skills. Uh, essentially, I treat this as just an attack up, which attack up can be useful, but you're better off just making two attacks in most cases. Um, and for a character like Chen, you don't have time to just sit there and buff because Chen will just get killed. So, no. I mean, even if you. Oops. Delete. No. Stop learning. Thank I mentioned, you know, probably a part or two ago that you, know, you never know when um, they'll learn, like a certain type will learn their opposites, even though they shouldn't, and this is one of those cases. Beast is vulnerable to flying, but as you can see, she learns a, another, uh, another flying move. So it's stronger than bounce and doesn't require um, taking a turn. Uh, the only catch is it doesn't paralyze. 
Plus, I get more uses out of it, so I will definitely take it. I'm trying to avoid uh, fast forwarding through some of the level ups now. That kind of make it a little bit smoother for you guys. I apologize for if you guys have. I've recorded all this ahead of time, so if you guys are complaining about things like fast forward and stuff, I apologize, but I'm not going to be able to fix it by the time it comes out. Uh, all right. about time we pick up Ice Beam. Can anyone use it? That's the question. It's really good. Get free solid. No one can learn it. Not even... Oh, we don't have Alice anymore. That's right. Silly me. Well, I'm gonna still buy them all, so... So the only ones I haven't bought yet is the um, Shadow Fist, or sorry, Shadow Ball, and um, uh, Steel Fist, which I'll get both. I don't know how good Steel Fist would be, but who knows. It's really nice to gain a level per fight. It's, unfortunately, it's not going to last. Screeches, we don't want it. In prison. Prevents foes from using any move that is known by the user. It's a rather unique move. Uh, Unfortunately, it's kind of limited based off what you're fighting, but if you, if you can get your character to have something different from others, like you through a TM or something, you can um, lock down a Pokemon pretty easily. I'll go ahead and take it, because I don't use Harden anyway. Toxic gas. The foe is attacked with exhaust gas. It may also poison the foe. It's probably better than rapid spin. As much as I would love to have Hina have her signature spin. Self-destruct. This is the first time you guys got to see this. Self-destruct. The user blows up to inflict severe damage, even making them itself faint. It's the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, I'm not going to learn self-destruct, but later on she learns explosion, which I might pick up that. So. Finally. 
I kept thinking Kino is one of those level 24 evolutions, but nope, she's level 28. Alright. Now she's a little bit stronger. Let's go ahead and take a look at our art book. Kina absorbs curses that lay in humans. She protects them from the pain of curses. Miss Fortune Bonica. Alright, uh, stat wise, pretty much still the same. Still the same uh, ability. And her special attack and attack are pretty equal. I mean, they're still kind of low, but they're equal, so I can take both types of moves without much issue. Alright. Now, let's hope I can get uh, Shikieki to finally evolve as well. She's level 39 now, and she still hasn't evolved. Okay, finally, Shikieki has evolved. She's now a Reason Faith type, which means uh, she is now vulnerable to beast attacks, unfortunately. Um, she also lost her resistance to Reason, but she's no longer um, weak against Heart, and she's now resistant to Fire, Water, and Wind. Uh, still same uh, ability, and her stats are kind of pretty up there. Funny enough, our tankiest character now is Aya, of all people. Uh, looks like our second tankiest is Shikieki. With a few exceptions, of course. Alright. That Y is pretty good. Her attack is pretty low, so always focus on her special. And there you go. With that, we just gotta get people caught up in levels. My goal is 50. Uh, I, I know Ellis is 51, but really it's gonna even out as we fight trainers along the uh, routes to our next destination. So, I think that's it for right now. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Toho Puppet Play Enhanced. Nuzlocke. Hope you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.